If you've never heard of the Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board, known as the CSB, you're not alone. It is a small group of people who investigate industrial accidents. But President Trump has been trying to eliminate the CSB for three years, and inspectors have quit. Some fear that's helped to lead to an explosion, a fire, and a death. Brian Sullivan is in Crosby, Texas tonight. Two terrible accidents in just a month, both involving dangerous chemicals, both in Texas, and both may have something in common. On March 17th, a fire erupted at a facility that holds dangerous chemicals in tanks near Houston. That fire led to a leak and forced the Coast Guard to close part of the Houston Ship Channel, one of America's most important economic arteries, for nearly a week. Two weeks later, in early April, an explosion ripping through a chemical plant in Crosby, Texas. One person was killed, two hurt, and schools were locked down to keep the kids from inhaling fumes from the fire. I lived here for a couple years, and you can always smell it in the air, but never as, like, never as strong. So we kind of had an idea, but this happening right now, that terrified me. What the two disasters have in common is a concern that the agency that is charged with investigating industrial accidents, the Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board, hasn't been able to do its job properly because it's been under attack from the White House. The president has tried for three years to kill the CSB by eliminating its funding. So far, Congress has kept the agency alive. But a number of inspectors have left in recent years. And a former CSB executive says that's making the chemical industry more dangerous. Eventually, there's no question but that a weakened chemical safety board will lead to more accidents happening in the future because we won't have the investigations and recommendations that we need to prevent these accidents. President Trump actually visited Crosby, Texas on Wednesday. He was there, though, to promote building out infrastructure for the oil and gas industry, like new pipelines. There was no mention of the deadly fire. For now, the investigations continue as we speak. There are investigators from the CSB inside the Kimco chemical facility behind us here in Crosby, Texas, where one man, James Mangum, lost his life in that fire a couple of weeks ago. But it remains to be seen whether or not in an industry that is worth billions to the United States economy and has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons, that increased morale toll at the agency, at the CSB, will take its toll on important investigations like the one behind us. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Brian Sullivan, Crosby, Texas.